So Wizards has finally did it. After asking for years for four color commander decks, they're finally printing in the 2016 commander decks four colored commanders. There will be a ton of new brews in the making once these new generals are revealed. And I'm certain players right now are already prepping for when we get these amazing new cards. I know I am. But what are we to expect from these new cards? Four colored cards are something that Magic has only ever done once before in its entire history. The Ravnica Blocks Nephilim are the only four color costed cards. These cards were a bit of an oddity in what was a two color set as their abilities, while powerful, were never really playable due to the intensive mana fixing needed to get them online. But of course, Commander has always found ways to fix for mana. We have access to every land and mana fixing thingamabob known to the multiverse, but we just didn't have the Commander to play the Nephilim. As a result, since Commander is by all means a casual format, some playgroups allowed these creatures to serve as makeshift four color generals for the time being. But now that we are getting true blue commanders in these colors, we are getting our wish. Now the question is, what will these commanders do? Let's look at what these new cards will be bringing to Commander. Since each four color combination will be absent of one color, we can look at what they'll be getting from the other four colors. There is a very strong likelihood that these new combinations will bring with them a slew of extremely powerful decks. Why? With access to blue, you will have access to plenty of draw power and control. Cards like Consecrated Sphinx and Jin Gitaxias will become incredibly valuable as they can go into any of the four of the five decks that have blue. Especially so if one of these decks wants to focus on card draw. Keep in mind that we don't have any confirmed spoilers for the set as of the making of this video, so we have no way of knowing what these decks will actually entail. That potential card draw engine will be very strong in these new decks, but what about the other areas of the deck? Access to black will give you Necropotence, one of the best card draw spells in the game in black, and all the removal that you could want. Let's not forget what else black does the best. Tutors, Demonic Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, these four color decks can be built to have an incredibly consistent filter system. Next is green. We all know that green is great with ramp, right? Well, cards like Birds of Paradise, Cultivate, and Crop Rotation will become all-stars due to how nicely they will ramp out the colors we need to get going. We are looking at what could be some of the most powerful commanders in years. Popular and powerful decks like Kalia of the Vast and Azami Lady of Scrolls might have a hard time getting their engine going when paired up against these new decks. The access to all but one color means these decks will be powerful. Sure, a black, green, white, and blue deck might not have access to any powerful red burn spells, but it might not even need to burn the opponent due to the powerful assortment of spells that it does have at its disposal. So let's take a look at what some of these decks can do based on the abilities of the only cards with four colors, the Nephilim. The black, red, green, and white deck, which previously was unofficially named Dune, could be a form of a creature token deck. Green and white is notoriously efficient at spawning tokens, combined with red's ability to turn creatures into damage, will produce an efficient powerhouse of a deck. A previous commander, Rith the Awakener, a red, white, and green commander, is already a great option to make tokens. Add in the tutor abilities of black and the removal of black, and your opponent will have a hard time keeping up with the number of creatures you can churn out. Blue, black, red, and green, also known as glint, can possibly have a very powerful draw capability. Blue is great at drawing cards, green and red are useful for aggro style attacking and creature spawning, combining the three along with black's ability to seek out the cards we need, either by additional card draw or by tutors, will make a brutally fast deck. Picture Nekusar the Mine Razor that can make an army of little creatures to attack you so their controller can draw a card for each creature that hits you. Next we have the Red, Green, White, and Blue, or the Ink deck. We already know that Jeskai decks love non-creature spells and bonuses for playing them. Ink Treader Nephilim lets us copy instants and sorceries that target it for each other creature that spell could possibly target. Picture Distortion Strike that suddenly makes our entire field into buffed, unblockable beaters. Given Red, Green, and White's ability to make creature tokens that hurt, we have a very potent strategy in these colors. Now for my personal favorite and the deck combination I am most excited for. Green, White, Blue, and Black, also known as Witch, can do a lot of shenanigans involving counters. 
We already know Gaev Guru of Spores loves to make plus one plus one counters and creature tokens go bananas, and we also know that the Simic Combine deals with evolving creatures becoming immense. Finally, Selesnya is great at making tokens. Combining these three strategies and you will have a deck that can not only churn out oodles and oodles of tokens, but can dump enough plus one plus one counters on the board that can make the experiment Kraj have a field day. Finally, we have the last combination of colors, white, blue, black, and red, also known as the Yor deck. Judging by Yor, Tiller, Nephilim, we can expect some graveyard shenanigans with this color combination. We have access to the Mardu color aggression like Kali of the Vast could do, with the control aspect that the Esper color combination excels at. Combining the two in a graveyard recursion strategy will make for a very interesting commander deck. Given that we have the Demir colors of black and blue, we will be able to dump cards very easily into the graveyard to be brought back later on. We also have black and white, which both are good at returning things from the graveyard to the field, so this is going to be a very potent strategy that could possibly be a new version of Carador, another graveyard strategy. So that will conclude our initial discussion of the Commander 2016's four color commanders. As we get closer to November and things start to get revealed, we might have a better idea of what we can expect. Things certainly are going to be interesting with these new commander decks. What do you think they're going to bring? Do you think they'll base the four color strategies off of what the Nephilim can do? Or do you think that they'll go an entirely different strategy for each color combination? Let me know in the comments below. This is going to be an exciting year for commander players. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by leaving me a like on this video. Don't forget to share this with your friends and Magic Gathering playgroup, and let's get the hype for Commander 2016 going. Finally, don't forget to subscribe for the Planeswalker Project for all the Commander magic goodness you could possibly want. And thank you!